Matthew chapter 5 verse 44. But I say unto you, bless your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them who despisefully use you and persecute you. Please join me in this prayer. Meditate over it. Say this prayer before you start your day or before you go to bed. Now, let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, I understand that the real enemy I face is not the flesh and blood of men and women that I often come against in life. But the battle I face is against a spiritual enemy and forces of evil in heavenly realm. I also understand that Satan and his evil forces are my true antagonists who encompasses me on every side and seek to shipwreck my faith and derail me from making heaven. Lord Jesus, I so desire to follow your command to love my enemies. Pray for those that persecute me and to do good to them that hate me and to pray for those that mistreat me. And I ask that in your faith and grace, I will learn to live my life according to your will. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for the spiritual armor that is mine. And I praise you this day because I know that in Jesus, I have all that I need to stand steadfast to face every evil by day and oppressions by night. I choose not to engage in physical battles because things of this world has its limitations. But instead, I stand true by the promises in the Holy Bible that you, Lord, got me and will protect me, knowing that the weapons of our warfare are not those that are used by this world but are divinely powerful spiritual weapons which are designed to destroy the fortresses of evil and to demolish the strongholds of the enemy. I pray that you would rescue those that are under the dominion of Satan and bring them out from the satanic kingdom of darkness into the glorious kingdom of your dear son. I ask that you will make known to them the wonderful riches that are in Christ Jesus. I pray that each one may come to your saving grace, so that they may be at peace with you and have peace of Christ reigning in their hearts. Give me wisdom and discernment to know what to act, what to say, and how to pray, and when to maintain silence. May all I do be according to you and your will. And I ask all this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.